Hello everybody, welcome back to Hiking the Way Right. Lovely to have you here, as always. Today I've got a really, really short walk. In fact, it's so short, it fits within one square kilometre. Can you believe it? We're gonna go and have a look at a place that's incredibly popular with Instagrammers. Um, we're gonna go and try and figure out why. Why is it so popular with, with people? And the place we're going to is right here. Raven Crag. So I've parked up on the A591 there at Smith at Bridge, exactly the same place I parked in for the high rig video. And what I could have done is parked along here as a car park down here, but it's bank holiday. It's bank holiday weekend, it's coronation weekend. It's also the weekend of the Fred Witten. They're one of the busiest times ever because it's a really big cycling event that goes right round the Lake District. I thought it'd be a good idea to park over there and walk in instead. But you get this view. When you go to that car park, you miss this. So I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at the map and check out this micro route. So from the A591, I'm going to head across the Thirlmere Dam, past the preferred car park. You've got to get there early. And then it's up we go. We're going to follow the forest track around up to a place called The Ben, where we'll get some incredible views looking back towards Raven Crag. Then it's back on the forest track again. It's going to take us around to a place called Castle Crag, the site of an ancient fort. After Castle Crag, we're going to head up to Raven Crag and see what all the fuss is about. Then it's a gentle bimble back down to the road where we can retrace our steps across the dam, back to the van, and then of course, the pub. That's it. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's absolutely tiny. And I'll be up and down in about 10 minutes. Well, 15 maybe. 20 with the marsh bar. <laughs> right, let's get on. So the main purpose of going up the bend first and then hitting Raven Crag later is to hopefully avoid the crowds. I think it's going to be very busy up there because it's full of Instagrammers. And I've left it late today. I was going to get up really early and come here, you know, before everybody else got here, but then I just couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> I really, really struggled to get out of bed. Yeah, I've come late. And now I'm paying the price of all the crowds. Look at them all. Up we go. 10 metres off the road and we're already getting a fantastic view of Helvellyn, England's third highest mountain. You wait until you see it from the top. This place has always reminded me of somewhere in America, like Yosemite or something like that. Yes, I'm hoping it's thinned out on the top by the time I get there. Otherwise, I won't be able to see anything for bodies. Bodies on top of bodies. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of the trees have been felled since the last time I was here. This is all thick woodland, which has its pros and cons. Pros is obviously we can see stuff. Cons, it's really nice in the woodland here, walking through the woods and listening to the birdies. <laughs> and already Thirlmere is coming into full view now. See right down to the south end. People are leaving. People are leaving. Okay, I reached the first track. And we cross it straight across up to the second track. And it's that one that we're going to branch off and go right and zigzag around up to the bend. <laughs> this looks like a flat path. Trust me when I say it's not. It's about 30 degrees. In fact, even, maybe even more up the top there. I love it when you get the sun coming through the leaves like that. And the weird thing is, I was up in Scotland last week and it was all, you know, springy, wintry, end of winter, early spring. Came back home and it's, it's like summer. Everything's gone crazy. All the leaves have come out. Grass has gone really vibrant green. It's lovely, just in one week. I'm in a t-shirt for God's sake. Okay, here we are on track number two. We get this great side-on view of River and Crag. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I love the light on the trees there. Got a latch and what have you. Now, if I was going direct up there, I'd be going straight up this bit here. And carrying on with that steep pull with lots of people. There's been lots of people so far. <laughs> You've not seen them. But I'm gonna go on this track, all the way up, zigzagging up to the bend. We'll check that out first. And we'll be looking back 
on Raven Crag and get a good eyeful of it. <sighs> Hopefully the trees haven't grown up. <laughs> right, let's go. Look at this. Feels like summer has arrived. Love it. That's a lovely view looking back towards the Ulmia, up the tops of the trees. That's it, have a drink. There's not much there, is there? This is harder than I remember. It's quite steep and it's quite a hot day, 18 degrees, which is positively tropical for us Brits. I should have put my shorts on. Oh, finally, it's leveling off, but I've got to go up there yet. However, this is a good opportunity to enjoy that incredible vista. That is amazing. I actually think it's better here than it is on Raven Crag because you've got Raven Crag in the shot. This is definitely a benefit of the trees going. I know I shouldn't say that because it is nice having trees, but yeah, you wouldn't have this view ordinarily. Okay, just approaching this deer gate. Deer gate. I've been wanting to tell you for a while. Right, we're just approaching a bit of a conundrum now. But hang on a minute, look at this view. <laughs> That's something else, isn't it? Wow. Here's a conundrum. On the OS premium maps, it says that the Ben and Ben Man are on this side of the track over there. And the highest point is called Sippling Crag of that way. Ring Ron Contour nice viewing spot. On the Ordnance Survey standard map, that is the Ben. Also on Wainwright's little drawn maps, that's the Ben. Which one is it? <laughs> Who do you believe? Ordnance Survey or Ordnance Survey? It's weird, it's a weird thing, but that's where we're going, up there, because that's definitely the highest point. And yeah, that's where we'll get the view. Looking back towards Raven Crag, Beautiful. I love it in here. What a magical little forest this is. Okay, so we can see a well-defined path here. Oh, this place is covered in bilberries. Lovely. Okay, the breeze is getting up, which is a good sign. It means we're near the top. Here we go, look at this. Check this view out here, look. Here we are, on top of the bend. Lovely. And if for some reason this isn't the real bend, and actually that's the real bend, which I doubt it, this then can be Big Ben. Isn't that an outstanding view? These trees. Raven Crag, right there. Thirlmere. Helvellan. It's got it all, hasn't it? Just in that direction. Never mind what you got to the north. Looking out towards Blencathra and Skidder. Let's go and have a look on this side. Ooh, whoa! <laughs> I nearly fell off, Big Ben. That's where I was a few weeks ago. High seat. Just there. High Tove. Actually, no, it's Bleebury. And high seat. I think. <laughs> right, I'm going to get Finn some water and then going to slowly make my way round to Raven Crag via Castle Crag. Ooh. Windy. Are you having fun? Yeah, you're such a good dog, aren't you? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Honestly, I'm here trying to get some B-roll, some nice artistic B-roll, and some nice audio, and she just barges me out of the way and starts munching on twigs and making loads of noise. Honestly, she's <laughs> the worst filming companion ever. She's not, she's flipping brilliant. Look at her. Aren't you? <laughs> you're the best, aren't you? Right, let's get down. I'm going to retrace my steps back onto the track and then carry on along the track. Now the track is going to lose some height I'm afraid. Do lose quite a lot of height, let's go and have a look here look. You'll get an idea of what we're going to lose. Pretty much all the way down to that second track, similar sort of 
uh, elevation that we've lose maybe maybe a bit less maybe a bit more <laughs> yeah who knows we will go and have a look come off in <laughs> come on oh you clever girl let's get down here without falling over Ooh. <laughs> yeah track is just uh, there look see it through the trees so we'll pick that back up Ooh, don't want to be uh, dropping the family jewels on that Ooh, or impaling myself on that right back down back in these lovely little woods again look isn't it gorgeous isn't that gorgeous as well it's nice having that little white thing in front of me I do miss it when she's not here okay back on the track and as you can see we're going down quite a long way down still nice though isn't it and 25 past 4 not us all around now this is what happens all the time yeah there'll be people on Raven Crack there's bound to be in fact it wouldn't surprise me if there are people having a barbecue up there it wouldn't surprise me if people are camping up there tonight even so yes there will be people up there but other places people just abandon them they're all off to the pub now it's super Sunday you know it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow they're all down the pub I finished the walks long ago I just need to clarify by the way that I've mentioned that this is a square kilometer that I'm walking in just about it doesn't mean the route is a kilometer long <laughs> the route's a little bit longer than that but I'm walking pretty much within the boundary of a square kilometer which is unheard of really isn't it and even Wainwright mentions in his book this isn't a proper fell walk it's just a walk up to a hill look at a view and then walk back down again still going down all right now I've got to the part of the track where it switches back in the direction of Raven Crag and runs parallel to Shulthut Gill which I can just kind of make through the trees there Sort of still going down though <laughs> got a lot of up to do <laughs> all of the up I think this is one of the very few places in the Lake District that feels like you could be in Canada or somewhere in, in North America you know bear country fortunately there are no bears here I hope <laughs> Ooh, it's nice when you get little fleeting glimpses of views there like that straight out towards Skidder you can just imagine engines up there couldn't you <laughs> can we say that anymore can we say engines you know what I mean Native American folk it just doesn't look like England that's the point I'm trying to make so we get to this other track now and obviously goes off in forks off in two directions we don't want to be going that way because we're gonna the path or the track ends up going back round and out I'm going to take the left hand track and go below what is marked on the map as Sipling Crag or The Ben. Now I remember last time I was here, I remember taking a picture of a larch through the trees. So it, was a, it was a lone yellow larch surrounded by these other, I think these are Scots pines. And uh, yeah, it looked really nice, sort of lit up with the sunlight a bit. Oh, this is a nice steady uphill. Not too steep at all. isn't this a lovely track I think it's made even more so by this beautiful sunlight and warmth gentle breeze blue sky that said even on a rainy day this will be beautiful I think I really wish you could smell it here this really sweet smell of the moss mixed in with the, the pine Little bit of heaven here I think you're a hot dog I knew she'd drink from that okay that's where I'm going in a minute through that gate and up the path there up to Raven Crag but have a little pop down here and see what this um, castle crag is all about the footpath 
So you can see Castle Crag here, look, it's marked on the map as Fort, and obviously it's called Castle Crag, so it must have been some kind of fortified dwelling. <laughs> Going back downhill again. Oh, this is very pleasant. Stub balls, little footbridge. Is that the drawbridge for the castle? Oh, now then, some very interesting trees around here. There we go, Castle Crag Fort. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> All right, okay. So you can kind of see, you know, walls. Are they natural? Not, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about this place at all, to be honest with you. This is actually the first time I've ventured over here. Like most people, I just go up Raven Crag and that's it, and the Ben, but never over here. And I don't know why, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that view. <laughs> Let's go around the edge here first, have a look around it, and then we'll get onto the top. And then we'll get over to Raven Crag. Yeah, who knows what history this place has. It's a cute little trod around it though, I love it. Oh, there's a bilberry everywhere as well. Definitely looks like there's some kind of ramparts there, doesn't it? That definitely looks man-made. That ridge going down there and the one behind it, like a moat almost. Right, let's see if we can get up top. First, let's go along this rampart. Nice. like it. <laughs> yeah. That's not bad, is it? Okay, on top of Castle Crag. And you can see from here, whoa, beautiful view. Looking out towards the east there. Over towards Great Dodd. And we can see back towards the Ben, Big Ben. And then Blencathra, Skidder. Wonderful, wonderful views, and then Bleabree and everything else that way. And Wainwright mentions in his book that it's a bit squelching, a bit boggy approaching. Now, bearing in mind he wrote that a long time ago, I bet he was referring to where the, the um, boardwalks were there and the bridge, so they probably weren't there when he did it. And yeah, it would be a bit soggy because there's a bit of a guild running down there, so not soggy at all. Come and have a look, it's lovely. What on earth is that? I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Survey mark, it says. <laughs> Fit in. Right, let's get ourselves over to Raven Crag, right there. Not too far at all, about five to seven minutes. Isn't she great? Such a lovely dog. Across the bridge, back across the boardwalk. Yeah, you can see this is definitely wet ground here, all around here. So that's the way I would have come up if I'd come directly. In fact, that's my way back down. Oh, ow, just walked into the gate. Okay, so in a minute it turns into a little bit of a staircase and then it winds through the woods a little bit and well i'll leave the rest for you to see for yourself prepare yourself for the crowds watch to be no up there now <laughs> oh, i love the moss hanging off these fallen down trees here look like giant beasts guarding the way okay up the staircase of destiny <laughs> it's better than staircase of doom giant spider from this angle. Look at its leg. Switch your room. Final staircase. I think it might be. Okay. Here we go, levelling off. Let's go and see what all the fuss is about. 
why is this so popular with the Instagrammers? Here we are. Little viewing platform. And let me spin you around so you can see why it's so popular. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. <laughs> Whew. So obviously from here we can see a little bit more of Thirlmere out towards the western shore. We couldn't really see that from the bend. I'll tell you what, let's pop down here. I mean, the last time I was here, all this wasn't like this, all flattened off and, you know, clearly loads of people have, have walked here. It looks like a lot of the places in Scotland that have been, you know, fre frequented a lot, like, for example, um, Glenfin and Viaduct and what have you. <laughs> nearly, nearly lost my glasses and then almost lost my life. Look at this step out onto the edge here this is a sheer drop by the way so you can see down there that's the dam that I walked across right at the beginning there's the car park that I could have parked at but I've actually parked over there look at the state of this place though just fires everywhere people just having camps up here and campfires and barbecues and all sorts of stuff such a shame there well it looks like I timed that absolutely perfectly not a soul about you know what she's down there for scavenging for bits of sausage and burger and <laughs> unbelievable well Finn. come on a treat right marsh bar time water treats for days All right, I think that couple there illustrate my point perfectly. <laughs> They've just come straight up, getting all the post shots on the uh, on the railing there and the usual stuff. Look at this, what a shame though about this, isn't it? About all the burnt out fire and mess. Fain, you disgust me. <laughs> Back in 2017 or 2018, one of the two, driving down here on the way to Borrowdale and all of Raven Crag was on fire. I mean, huge flames. And the fire brigade came out and are putting fires out all day. And it was caused by, well, excuse language, dipshits making fires like this and bringing up um, portable barbecues and all sorts of things. You can't have fires and barbecues here in the Lake District. This place in the summer is like a flipping tinderbox. It's so dry. It's only a matter of time before we have a proper you know, wildfire that spreads right across the region. Anyway, ranty, preachy stuff over. Marge Bar has been consumed, snaffled, troughed, and uh, yeah, lovely. I mean, there's some lovely light down there by the um, by the dam now. Finn, come here, stay close. I'm a little bit nervous with her on, the, on this edge here, because like I said, it is a, a sheer drop. Look, let's just drop down a bit here. You get to a point, a bit like that rock on up there, where it just suddenly stops the ground stops and the air begins as far as reservoirs go it's not a bad one is it once upon a time this was a natural lake obviously it hasn't always been a reservoir you know 500 million years yeah it was the 19th century they, they dammed it off the manchester corporation again same as hose water and when the lake got quite dry when you know in the summer when the levels would drop it would actually turn into two separate lakes with a little stream between them and uh, and a uh, a natural land bridge as well, bisecting them. Bisecting? Dissecting? And, another little factoid, the Thirlmere Aqueduct, 96 miles from Thirlmere down to Manchester. That's where the water flows. This is like a Victorian era engineering feat. Incredible feat. It's all gravity as well, so the water just drops very gently using gravity. 
amazing. That's when Great Britain was great. Now it's just full of dipshits that do stuff like this. <laughs> no ranting, stop ranting. I think I'm done for the day. Like I said, it's only a short walk. Uh, short but very enjoyable walk. And I think if you're gonna come and do Raven Crag, I think you should definitely go and do the Ben. In fact, here's a, here's a question for you. And let me know your answer in the comments. Which do you think's the best? The Ben, where I was before, or Raven Crag in terms of views and overall picturesqueness? I think I know where my vote is. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments. Right, loads of waffle going on. See that white building down there? That's where I'm going now. That is the pub. So let's go. Go into the pub. Go in. Let's go. <laughs> Look at it go. I'm on my pint. You know, it's a nice view looking this way as well, isn't it? The trees are lovely. All this Brilbury's lovely. The views are outstanding. It's that time of the evening where the sun has got a really soft, warm glow. Shadows are long. Beautiful. Isn't it a shame the pub don't deliver? That'd be great, wouldn't it? Stick a pint on the drone. Don't forget, as usual, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this series. Let me know what you think of the channel overall. Whatever, just tell me anything. Just tell me about your life, I don't care. It's just nice to hear from you. If you want to support the channel, you can support me by heading over to patreon.com slash the black clan and joining the club, joining the clan, keeping this channel going, literally keeping the lights on. Or you can just go to my website at blackcrag.uk and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a fine art print. Help. I'm stuck. Go off it. Come on. <laughs> Every penny goes straight back into buying me beer. I mean, gear. <laughs> and supporting the channel and that sort of stuff. That is a grand view, isn't it? I think I like it more with Raven Crag in shot, you know. Oh, glasses. <laughs> glasses, I'm gone again. All right, now back on this track I was on before. So I went up that way and we had this glorious view here. Look of Raven Crag, beautiful. So it's a case of just getting back down here now. So I came up, yeah, it's definitely darkened off in these woods now. All right, 30 seconds later, I'm right at that first track. That I got to on the way up again still a nice view lovely out towards Helvellyn very nice so I'll be two minutes and I'll be back on the road okay back on road and boy I've got a sweat on you got coal up top because of the wind, but and look at that, isn't it amazing? I don't know if it's coming out in this camera, but it really does look like something out of, you know, somewhere in California, half dome or something like that, maybe. Has to be said, and I've said this before, some people are bloody ignoramus is. Ignoramus is. Is it ignoramus is or ignoramus I? You know, I just walked past a couple there. Hello. It just completely blanked me. I don't get it. This is Cumbria. We say hello. We're friendly folk here, mostly. Finn isn't. <laughs> Finn's not friendly at all. Finn will bite your ankles off. You've got to admit, that is a damn fine view, isn't it? <laughs> See what I did there? Look at this. Great, isn't it? Like a fortified pumping station, not like a fart station, you know, pumping the water. Nom nom. Hello, little calf. You're lovely, aren't you? Someone's getting jealous. 
you getting jealous? No, Mum doesn't like that, so I'm going to put you down. I love your lugs. Take your life into your own hands getting across this road. Here we go. I got the thing again. Good talk. Mm. I think you're going to get covered in beer. <laughs> <laughs> 